In this lesson, we'll learn about practices that violate the prohibition on monopolization. To be liable for the offense of monopolization or the related offense of attempted monopolization, an actor must engage in certain improper practices that it uses to obtain or maintain a monopoly. These practices are said to be predatory, unreasonably exclusionary, or anti-competitive. It's not unlawful for a firm that has legitimately obtained a monopoly to charge super-competitive prices, nor is it unlawful for a firm that has legitimately obtained a monopsony to negotiate the lowest prices possible. That's because the prospect of being able to charge monopoly prices, or, in the case of a monopsony, to require monopsonic prices, is a motivation to compete in the first place. And as long as a firm with a monopoly or monopsony doesn't engage in exclusionary practices so as to maintain the monopoly or monopsony, firms are allowed to enjoy their monopoly or monopsony power.